Well, I'm a New Yorker, so I I loved that part. Um, but it also brings, it's one thing to be in a small town, which has its own sense of, of creepiness and, you know, uh, nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. But then when you're in a big city, there's a completely different version of there's there's nowhere to run, there's nowhere to hide. It could be anybody. It the killer could be anybody. I mean, it could be you, it could be the person you're standing next to, and it just it brings you know about the the opportunity for shock, surprise. I mean. You, you just really don't know what you're going to see. I've never been directed by two directors, but they're, I mean, their transition between the two of them is so smooth. They know how to work together so well, and they've just brought us along for the ride. Oh, my gosh. You know, I, I've always been a fan of Dermot, um, and, uh, and I I just knew I had no expectations. I just knew that, like, no matter what it was, I was I was gonna walk in a fan. I'm gonna walk out a fan. But he had me laughing so hard on the first day that I, I went outside um, during one of the breaks, and somebody wanted to take a picture, and I tried to smile, and my cheeks were were shaking, <laughs> like they were so exercised. I haven't smiled that much in in so long, but. Uh, Dermot is such a a multifaceted actor, human being, and he brings all of that to this this character. Courtney's just so talented and funny and fun. She brings all of those elements to the character, so I can only imagine. I mean, she she puts her whole self into it, so I'm sure it's gonna be badass. <laughs>